Over the past two years, six companies have asked me to review their handheld massage tool. They just send them to me. And I try them. Oh, this is different, isn't it? This is the 8 Away Pro massage tool. It's so smooth. It's one of the best out there and it's worth the money. I've used percussion tools since 2005. Listen, you don't need 15 attachments in 32 different settings. My rating for a handheld massage tool comes down to three factors. Number one, is it easy to hold? Number two, how quiet is the motor? Uh. And number three, what's the life expectancy of the battery and what is the warranty? Because let's face it, all batteries will eventually expire. I like the variety of heads. The soft, the hard, and the bullet shapes are all useful in my practice when focusing on muscles. Now, this doesn't replace your licensed massage therapist or your chiropractor, and it certainly doesn't replace your at-home stretching routine. Oh. I only recommend products that I personally use, and the Ached Away Pro can be a useful tool for you and your at-home muscle care routine. That's satisfying. I'll take my uh, th my thumper type of massager and it's not as intense as this. Seems cool. I always have a lot of pain in my upper back area. Mm -hmm. How long have you had pain in your upper back area for? I've been struggling with that for about four to five years total. Mm -hmm. I work out every single day and I, and I do sleep crazy too, so I'm sure mm -hmm. that 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 plays into it also. What do you mean you sleep crazy? I sleep in weird positions that I shouldn't be in. <laughs> okay. So that's like neck soreness and then you have this in upper back pain on top of that. So they're like different from each other? Yeah, they, they are different from each other. Sometimes I, I have a shooting pain from my neck that'll go even into my hand. I do find that when I, when I massage myself or when I go and get adjusted, um, it'll subside for a while, but it, it always comes back. Um, I am a working music director and a model, so I am on planes 24 seven. Um, and I also work out every day um, and exercise mm -hmm. very frequently. Okay, do you stretch? You I stretch out? every day. I'm, okay. I prioritize stretching. Um, I stretch for about 20 minutes before I work out and I stretch every single morning. Okay, how much water do you drink? Probably not enough. <laughs> but you drink some. I do. I, Water is the only thing I drink besides coffee. I, If I'm being completely honest with you, I probably drink about two cups of water a day. Okay. How many cups of coffee do you have a day? Maybe more than two cups. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's an easy change for okay. sure. Okay. Um, okay. Do you take any supplements, any vitamins, herbs, minerals? Um, I love ashwagandha. Mm -hmm. um, and I also take a multivitamin. And, and an iron, um, mm -hmm. I take an iron pill as well because I, I have a little iron deficiency. Okay. Why do you take the ashwagandha? Um, I know it's it's good for stress. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mainly all in my back and neck. Sometimes Jaw. in my lower back okay. as well. How often do you have that lower back stuff? Um, I ha don't get it very often. I would say maybe twice a year I'll have an issue with... Mm -hmm. um, my lower back where I literally cannot get into bed, out of bed, I can't bend over. Do you ever have any dizziness? I will tell you that when I had my most severe neck pain, which was um, earlier this year, where my hand was hurting as well, I found myself f getting frequently dizzy um, mm -hmm. to the point where I was really scared to get in the car and drive myself anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be sitting on the couch and I would just completely lose my balance and kind of tip over to the side and it was really scary. Have you ever had any accidents, any car accidents ever? I've had two car accidents and I was I was pretty sore after both of those accidents. Okay. Um, any other accidents or injuries? I don't think so. No. Did you always play music? Were you ever an athlete at all? Uh, yes, I was an athlete. I always I ran track my entire life and I played softball also. I eat really clean. Um, I eat a lot of food. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I live a really active lifestyle so I definitely don't skip any meals, uh, and yeah, I'm, I have a pretty balanced diet, carbs, fats, proteins. One time you had pain in your neck and it went to your hand. Yes. When was that? Earlier this year. Okay. And did you feel it all the way down or just in your hand? It was all the way down my arm. Okay. So I was, I, I feel like I would constantly massage my arm all the way up to my neck. Mm -hmm. I was in so much pain. Um, mm -hmm. I do notice pain um, when I turn my head side to side. 
um, I really can't move it all the way left or all the way right. All right, so let's do this. Let's do an exam on your spine, and then I'll get you adjusted. I'll walk you through everything as I'm doing, and I'll explain it. Great. You ready Perfect. to get adjusted? Yes, I'm so ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay, looking at the feet first, a little bit of external rotation on the left side, slightly more than the right, but both sides within normal limits. Uh, looking at the knee down, no valgus, no varus stress on either side. All right, looking at the shoulder, we've got a high shoulder on the left with a little bit of head tilt and rotation there. That's... All right, hip swing looks even from left to right. I don't see a whole lot of asymmetry from the hips down. Not a lot of back pain. What came first, the, the yearly back pain or the constant neck and shoulder pain? Back pain. The low back pain was first. Okay, so compensated for there from the hips down and then definitely a high left shoulder with the head tilt. All right, uh, turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. A little bit more to the left. Go back to the right. Is there pain beyond that point? Yes, I can't go any further. All right, let's do this. Go back to center. Okay, look up at the ceiling. Okay, good extension. That Then go down forward. Where do you feel it more, looking up or looking down? Looking up. Okay, so that's more spinal than muscle. Good, we're in the right place. Okay, so this is, you feel that right there? Yes. That's like swelling? Yes. Your piano posture, right? Absolutely. It's rigid. It is. Place my hands on the top of your hips, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm checking the iliac crest height. We are higher on the right and lower on the left. So that matches you at a high left shoulder, high right hip. Now, so are your feet together flat on the ground? Yes. Okay, now move your knees apart from each other. Good, back together. Good movement here on both the left and right lumbar spine, very symmetrical. Okay, stop, looking from the top. So slight P-I-E-X right or A-S-I-N on the left. Just observing postural sway. Very little movement from the left to right, just a little bit of lateral sway there to the left. Taking out the visual system pronounces that. Good, still more lateral sway, so sway. It's a possible category two. Oh Three. Little release there. Okay, we're gonna do the right side here, good and down. Why is that so painful? Because this is the end point of all the tension.
A little different? Yeah. How is it different? Whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shoulders relax, like oh. shoulders relax. Like, is it too much? Yeah, it makes me like flex really hard. <laughs> Shoulders down. There it is, right there. So the sound keeps our mind in the present moment. This brings us to the here and to the now. And so being here in the room allows us to focus on our intention, which is to help with your neck and shoulder pain. So this is a way to let, to integrate our psychological intention, our mental intellectual preparation, all the testing and everything that I've done and all of the background that you provided is moving into this moment. This is where we bring together the finite and the infinite, the subtle and the dense. Nice, gentle breathing. Good breath. Shoulders relaxed. Is okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Breathe. Ticklish or tender? Uh, tender. Right side more than the left? Yeah. Why is that so bad? <laughs> it's not bad. There is no good or bad, only the thinking that makes it so. <laughs>
good. Sinking and letting the shoulders sink. Good. Just letting go with your breath. It's always easier to let go with the out breath. Slight expansion as you breathe in. And then decompression, letting it all go as you breathe out. That was good. Good. Look nice and gentle, sinking in. Good. I'm going to follow your breath. We're going to adjust on this breath, okay? Good. And out. Sink, 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 sink. Gentle, gentle. Okay, we're going to come down one segment here. Good. Let the shoulders go. Let the back go. Another breath. Gentle breath. Let it out gently. And then just sink. Let it go. Good. Sink. Good. Letting it go on the out breath. Good. Again, in and out. Shoulders. Okay, this time I'm going to push at the very top of the in-breath. So you're going to breathe all the way in, and then as you breathe out, just let your shoulders go as you breathe out. Good. Do that same breath again, all the way, all the way in. And now let your shoulders out. Behind your neck a little bit lower. Elbows in. Okay. okay, now you're going to slouch down like this. You're gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, we're gonna lean back like this. Hold the slouch the whole time, okay? Okay. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Keep breathing. Okay, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Go ahead, I'm gonna stretch your shoulders in this direction like that. I'm gonna bring your hip down like this. Same thing, let go on the out breath. Good, we're gonna bring the hip down. Let this relax, good. Good, again, same thing, in. Good, let the shoulders relax, hips. Lean back. That's good. So you're gonna to turn to the right, center, left, center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center, pain there? Hmm? Pain yes. there? Okay, left ear down to your shoulder. Center. When we do adjust, I'm like, this is where I'm a little scared. So just Talking as more it. gentle as like mm -hmm. rough. <laughs> First, we're just doing some traction to open up the joint spaces. Relax. So we're gonna do this gentle, softly, okay. slowly, okay? okay? I'm not gonna do it before I tell you. So okay. let's practice one first, just like the others. Okay. I'm gonna bring your head over to the side mm -hmm. to right about here. You're actually very relaxed right now, Hannah. Mm -hmm. This is good. All you have to do is breathe. And then just like the other ones, I'm gonna follow your breath in that direction. And then we're gonna push at the end of your okay. breath. Super gentle, okay? Sinking in. We're gonna let one more breath go by. Good, here's C1 right here. We're just going to gently push in this direction. Good. Keep it breathing. Keep going. Good, that was perfect. Again, in breath. Good, sinking in as you breathe out. Good. 
You're doing fantastic. Good, that's it right there. Good, let the head and shoulders go. Ooh, that didn't hurt. It felt good. All right, I'm gonna test the left side first. So I'm gonna bring this over to here. Go let your head relax. Seven, six, five, four, three. Gentle, 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 gentle breathing. Just sinking in. Just gently gonna push in this direction here on this segment. Good, let the shoulders sink. Good. One more deep breath in. Good. Go let this come to like right here. Good. Another breath. Do it again. Good. Letting it go. Let this relax. Ooh. That felt good. All right. I'm going to crack your toes now, okay? Okay. I've never done that. Okay, breathe in. Out. Good. Let the fuck go. Good. Wow. Alright, so we start with the ileocecal valve. This is where the small intestine goes into the large intestine. Okay. First, we find the navel here, belly button, then the ASIS, the front here. Mm -hmm. We're going to connect these two points. We start looking there. Tender. Yeah, interesting. But this is breakfast moving through for sure. It's 2.30 now, so it's been, it's about that time. Nice, gentle breathing. Breathe into your belly. Do a belly breath. Go again, belly breath. Next is the pyloric sphincters, where the stomach empties into the small intestine. And this is clear. Good, deep breaths. Tender. Go. Get another breath in. Little. Keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, that's the dirt. Good. Keep breathing in. I'm going to lift the legs up now. Okay. Okay, so this is a full spine adjustment. Your hands are in a good place like that. I'm okay. going to use this towel to support your spine like this. Mm -hmm. Just like the other adjustments, I'm going to follow your breath. And as you breathe out, we're going to pull in that direction like that, okay? Okay. Okay, same thing. Breathing in and out. Good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was so loud. Oh, my gosh. Like, down to my butt. <laughs> like, I literally feel it right now in my butt. That's so crazy. I cannot believe that just happened. Am I taller? <laughs> to the left, go back to the right. 
your pain beyond that point? Yes, I can't go any further. Um, turn your head to the right. It's better, but you still feel that It's sketch. better, it but catch? like I'm going further for sure. But, wow, I'm like, I can't believe I can even go to the side. I have not, not gone this far in like, oh my God. Good. Okay, now look up again. Good, lean back, good. Okay, left side, pull. Forward just a little bit like this. Wow, that's so tender. It's very similar to all this neck tension wow. that you have. I'm, I've never even like felt that before. Maybe this right here. Wow. Feel like you're gonna relax something. Mm -hmm. What? Is that real? Relax your head, relax. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Let's go ahead and stand up. Take it for a test drive. <laughs> How does it feel? I feel like I'm like breathing differently. Yes. That's what I really notice. Mm, awesome. I feel like it's not so hard to get a deep breath. Like usually I find trouble, I have trouble getting a really deep breath mm -hmm. and I struggle with a lot of shallow breaths, mm -hmm. but I feel like, I don't know, open. It's so amazing. <laughs> All right, um, logistical question. Mm -hmm. So you've had neck pain for about five years. Yes. You've had anxiety for about five years. Yes. Steady. Good tempo. Adrenals are a little overworked. This is the sleeping though. Have you been sleeping well? Not at all. Like for how long has that been going on? Overall, probably about two years I've had trouble sleeping.
but a lot within the last five days, like every night. Okay. You're going to sleep better tonight. I believe it. 